As the pace car is in, the fans are on their feet. And for the first time ever, the NASCAR Xfinity Series is going green at Circuit of the Americas. Watch the wet spots with the slicks. Noah Gregson powering in that outside lane. He had a problem in turn one during qualifying. Might have got a little overzealous there because uh, <laughs> there's still some wet spots. Really cool on Kevin's part, but uh, definitely a guy you want to have in your corner, both BJ and Kevin. Hey, want to go back. Uh, Daniel Hemrick had made that pit stop, and they continued to have problems. He also got a speeding penalty. Well, the 22 Austin Sindrick making a nice, nice move to the front of the field. Right now, the race car doesn't have as much drive as he wants, and it's not turning good enough in the slow corners. And you saw the 16 of A.J. Allmendinger stay out right there. They left that call up to A.J. They're going to leave it alone. Just four tires here for the 54. The seven, Justin Allgaier gained three spots. Andy Lally up there, Brandon Jones, Austin Dillon, Jeremy Clements, a lot of drivers who need points. Great start for AJ there. Really bottlenecked everything up behind. See if it works out. Look at that 4-5 wide in the one. That's Coda. Oh. Not where he wanted to be in qualifying today in the spin ladder stages of stage number one at Coda. Off of turn 20, here comes AJ Allmendinger. Six career stage win. And two-thirds of those have come on road courses. Are you surprised? No, I'm not at all. <laughs> Adam, I'm so happy you saved me on that one. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> Thank you for coming in for that is, restart. This is a team effort. You hey, know? Thanks, man. I'm still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Cindric makes a real great move. You wanted to say Bottom gutsy three. move, didn't you? Because <laughs> that was on the edge there. You made it work, though. Oh, This is a family show, by the way. So we got, who's that, the 26 around? Well, 19 at Brandon Jones. This was part of their plan earlier today. Crew Chief Jeff Mendering said, we will take the opportunity to get much needed stage points if it presents itself. That car sliding the rear just a little bit too much. AJ Allmendinger right now, his race car needs more front turn at the apex. The fronts are starting to go away. That's his biggest problem. Very descriptive on the radio, Jamie. So good to see Tyler Reddick driving for Jordan Anderson racing in the field. It's a great run. It's been a magical weekend, they said, so far. They just want a track bar adjustment, four tires. Car's not bad. He's pretty happy with it. Meanwhile, the 51 of Jeremy Clements started 33rd, worked his way up into the top 10. Track bar air pressure. Kyle Busch knocking on the door of Austin Sendrick. Oh, you see the damage there to the right rear quarter panel. Is that much of a benefit on road courses, Ryan? I think it's a little bit of side force uh, turning to the left, obviously. You know, if you get a flare out like that, I'm not sure how much of a benefit it is, but any kind of arrow gain you can get obviously that's was from damage and just a certain circumstance but i'm sure he's liking it right now and i heck i would too <laughs> yeah i'm not sure if it's helping but he's back to the lead there it is Inside lane, Kyle Busch. Outside, Austin Sendrick. They've combined to lead 16 laps today. Here we go in stage two, second half underway. Daniel Hemrick making a big three-wide move to the bottom. It looks like the eight got in there a little hot. I don't know what the give and take is, though, but if, if you got to give a little to get a little, the way he's doing things, I'd say I'd give that up for everything else he's got because he's pulling oh, away, oh, and there's the Riley Herbs going around. Is that Wait. a little bit of damage on the, on the left rear there, on the bumper? Got a little bit of help. Here he comes up to turn 20, and then he'll drive down the front straightaway to get the green and white checkered flag. It's going to be a stage sweep for Colleague Racing. Stage one goes to A.J. Almendinger. Stage two to the driver out of Winnemac, Indiana, Justin Haley. 
Good start by the 54 here. The 18 has a little bit of a run. He's 16's guarding it though. Dinger's Dan looking. Dan yeah. knows. 54 got too good of a start for AJ to even have a chance to, to dive in there. He did. He just made it tough for everybody there. That's why he's the all-time leading winner. Come the front runners, Regan. Well, Justin Haley's plan worked out perfectly to get those stage points as well as that playoff point. Right now he's two free in the right-handers. Wants an adjustment for that as well as a tear-off and a drink. Michael and Ned, the same plan. They needed points as well. They're really close on the playoff cut right now. They helped his drive with the last changes, hurt him through the S's, and keep an eye on his car. He thinks he's about to lose. Bit loose off. We talked about this little team. It all started right here at Circuit of the Americas. JP, we're going to be a drive. I feel like the 19 was coming in, but I'm looking at the 02 box here. Their sign is up in there. The wind must be oh, gusting. Oh, we down have the, oh, did we jinx it? Oh, the I two mean, and the 98. Finally, right? I mean, we, we, we felt we, like this was going to happen. It was How bound many times? to happen. Bound to happen. Oh, the wheel, the rear is out of it. Oh. I just think he just locked up front, got in too hot. Brett Moffitt's it. really happy that he got out of that. Yeah. It's pretty impressive, uh, pretty impressive day by that 54 group. They, Dominic Carr all day and got it done in the end. First trip to Circuit of the Americas and the all-time wins leader, Kyle Busch, gets it done in dominating fashion. A little F1 tribute there. <laughs> it's right. close to pit wall. I like it.